Here's the training objectives on this task. Competitors will process and attach the provided pipes and weld GTAW and SMAW in 6G position. Task To weld pipes with GTAW for the root pass, SMAW for the fill and cap passes in 6G position. Objects To be able to weld root, fill, and cap passes of pipes in described welding positions using the given pipes. The goals of the task To strengthen GTAW and SMAW welding skills. To make sound welds without any defects such as undercut, porosity, and slag inclusion. Here are the materials. Two pipes with a diameter of 114.3 mm, a thickness of 8.6 mm, and a length of 100 mm are used, and the welded surface is treated with a 30-degree bevel angle. Root pass is constructed with GTAW, and fill and cap passes are constructed with SMAW. For GTAW construction, T50 2.4 mm is used, and for SMAW, KF 500 LF 3.2 mm is used. Main focus of the task. First, when preparing the weld joints, check if both the root face and bevel angle are uniform. Second, uniform groove angle should be maintained over the whole weld joint so that the weld parameters remain constant. Third, avoid misalignment during the pipe tack welding by using fixtures such as magnetic base. Fourth, as per the rules, no more than four tacks are allowed for pipe tack welding. It is recommended to make tacks at the 6, 10, and 2 o'clock locations, respectively. Fifth, the root gaps between the starting point and the ending points of the pipes should remain constant. Keep a 3.2 mm root gap for the starting point at 6 o'clock and a 4 mm root gap for the 10 o'clock and 2 o'clock locations. Sixth, when working on the stop start of pipe, Pay extra attention to potential defects. In order to prevent porosity, welding rods shall be dried at 350 degrees Celsius for a minimum of two hours and maintain a short arc length of two to three millimeters. To prevent slag inclusions, clean between each welding pass and grind all start stop points. Undercut may occur when the current is too high or the arc length is too long. Therefore, Apply proper current and keep a short arc length of 2 to 3 millimeters. Depending on the weave patterns, overlap may occur. To prevent overlap, make sure to pause at the ends for 0.5 seconds and weld with uniform weaving pitch. Please check the preparations and tools for this training. Precautions The root face of the base material should be uniformly processed. The root face should be constant to weld under the same conditions from the starting point to the end. A magnetic base used for holding the plates shall be installed far apart from the welding joint. When welding the pipe 6G, located the viewpoint part at the lowest part. For pipe welding, Welding position needs to be changed quickly since the work angle and travel angle keep changing. The work angle shall be kept at 70 to 85 degree. If the work angle is greater than 85 degree, slag does not come off easily from the groove. SMAW electrode should be used after drying completely without absorbing moisture. When welding joints, Keep the arc length short and start by slowly weaving by generating an arc from behind about 10 to 13 millimeters. In the first fill pass, 
fill about half of the base material. Stack the bead height of the second fill pass so that it enters 0 to 1 millimeters from the surface. For cap pass weaving, keep a short arc length and pause at the each end while welding. If travel speed is too slow, there are high possibility of either overlap or slag inclusion. Please check the tasks to perform. Pipe processing. Hold the pipe in a parallel position with a horizontal vise. Draw a line at the spot allowing 2 mm root face with vernier calipers. Make clear line at first time to get a uniform root face. Process the root face evenly up to the marked line. Check the thickness of the root face and make flat and even horizontal surface. After preparation of root face, remove burr with a file. Pipe Tack Welding Hold the pipe with V-groove block as the pipe is round shape. Place the 3.2 mm welding rod between pipes to keep a root gap. Once aligned the root gaps, fix the pipes with a magnetic base at both ends of the pipe. Install the magnetic base far apart from the location to be tack welded. Sharpen a tungsten electrode. The sharpening length shall be 2.5 to 3 times of electrode diameter and cut away 0.4 millimeters of the end. Insert the sharpened electrode into the torch. The tungsten electrode stick out shall be 1 to 2 times of the diameter. Tack Welding Weld only one task at 6 o'clock position. Use GTAW for welding process and welding rod is T50 2.4 mm. The length of tack at the starting part shall not be over 15 mm. Remove the magnetic base and the 3.2 mm welding rod inserted between pipes. To align overall the root gap, widen the gap with a spot weld hammer slightly. Rotate the pipe coupon to make a tack at 10 o'clock position and keep the root gap by inserting 4 mm welding rod. Make small tacks to fix the 4 mm welding rod. Do not allow too deep penetration and make small tacks enough to fix the surface. Rotate the pipe coupon to make a tack at 2 o'clock position and keep the root gap by inserting 4 mm round bar. Make small tacks enough to fix the bar. The welder makes 3 tack welds in total. The number of tack welds are limited to 4 maximum according to the rule. Once tack welding is over, check the welding conditions if the gap is all well aligned. Root Pass of Pipe Joint Welding Prior to welding, grind the surface of arc weld at the starting point. The reason for shaping with a grinder. For the smooth transition between the starting point and main welding. Make U-proof groove on the tack weld of start point with a grinder fitted with 4T. Check the condition after grinding and fix the pipe coupon with 45 degree jig in 6G position. The starting point should be located at the bottom. 
fix the pipe securely without any movement. Root Pass Welding GTAW is used for root pass and welding rod is T50 2.4 mm. Welding position at this section is overhead position. Weld constantly from 6 o'clock start point to 10 o'clock tacked point position without interruption. When reaches to 10 o'clock position, remove 4 mm round bar by grinding. Continue welding from 10 o'clock to 2 o'clock position. Welding position at this moment is flat position. For flat position, place filler metal the roof face and deposit beads little by little by pushing it. Put the nozzle on the V-groove and move forward the torch in a zigzag or a half-moon pattern. For pipe joint, all position welding is required including overhead, flat, horizontal, and vertical. Therefore, pipe welding is called 6G or all position pipe welding. Weld from 6 o'clock at the starting point to 2 o'clock position at tacked point. Welding position at this section is overhead position. For overhead position, locate filler metal little bit above the root face. For overhead position, locate the filler metal at the middle of root face. When it reaches to the tack weld at 2 o'clock, remove the 4 mm round bar with a grinder. Complete the rest of the root pass welding. When welding forward to the left side, hold the torch on the right hand. Hold the filler metal on left hand. For welding forward to the right side, hold the torch in left hand and filler metal in right hand. When welding forward to the right side, welder may hold the torch on right hand. Pipe welding fill pass. Fill Pass Weld Fill Pass with SMAW process Welding rod is KF500LF 3.2 mm Find appropriate working angle and posture for pipe welding Keep the short arc length and narrow weave width and progress by keeping working angle the most important key of this welding is change welding position quickly since the work angle and travel angle keep changing. It's better to weld from the left side. Slag on the welds shall be removed with a spot weld hammer. Use a new electrode to weld upper part of weld joint. Extra care is required to control SMAW electrode. Dry welding electrode completely prior to use since when electrodes are exposed to moisture, there are more chances of welding defect and unstable arc. Welding position at this moment. Vertical position. Mind the welding position when the start stop welding. For next bead connection, start welding by striking an arc 10 to 13 millimeters behind from the connection point, then weave forward slowly. When left part welding is completed, remove the slag with a chipping hammer. Grind starting point of the overhead position. It is recommended to wear a face shield while grinding works to protect competitors' eyes and face from sparks and other particles. Clean up the ground surface with a cup brush. To start welding, strike an arc from approximately 10 to 13 millimeters behind from the start point and weave forward slowly to the right side. Weldmen should be deposited to half of the groove with first fill pass. If the current is too high, 
weaving speed gets faster, and this may cause an undercut on both sides of the groove surface. Weave little by little and make sure the tip of the wire to pause at both ends. Average length of SMAW electrode, 350 millimeters. Due to limited length of welding electrode, stop start cannot be avoided. Remove the slag on the welds with a spot weld hammer and keep proceeding first fill pass welding. Adequate work angle for filler metal is 75 to 85 degrees. If the work angle is over 85 degrees to the opposite side, it makes slag stuck into the groove. Bead connection shall be ground prior to welding. By making U-profile groove, the molten puddle can flow smoothly without overflow to the other area. The short arc length shall be kept for the stop, start, bead connection. To deal with the last crater, keep the short arc length and stop quickly at 5 to 10 millimeters ahead of the endpoint. Remove slag with a spot weld hammer after the first fill pass welding and grind off the excessive reinforcement and uneven beads. The section where it has been welded in overhead position would have higher chance of defects because of unstable welding position. If doubt, clean up with a grinder. Fifth one is the second fill pass. Weave pattern is the same as one for first fill pass. Weld the left side first and then the right side. Depending on the welding positions, let the travel angle approximately 70 to 85 degrees. Keep small weaving pitch and the short arc length and weld following the travel angle. Deposit the welds up to 0 to 1 millimeters below from the surface at second fill pass. Cap Pass Weave pattern is the same as fill pass, but the tip of the wire should reach to the edge of the groove when weaving. For cap pass weave, keep the short arc length and pause at the each edge while welding. If travel speed is too low, there are risk of potential defect such as overlap or slag inclusion. Once the welding of each part of the pipe finished, Clean up the contaminant on the welded area. Grind the stop-start point to prevent any defects. Place the wire tip quickly on the next spot because the work angle and travel angle keep changing. To deal with the crater, keep the short arc length and stop quickly at 5 to 10 millimeters ahead of the end point. Once welding completed, remove contaminant such as slag, spatter, and clean up with a cup brush. Please check the key points of the tasks you have done this time.
So far, we have learned about the GTAW and SMAW construction of test pipe. Thank you for your hard work.